that when Jesus came to earth, he came to die for all our sins. Porque todos, por naturaleza, sabemos que existe un Dios. Jesus healed ten lepers. One leper, when he looked at his hands and saw that he was clean, he didn't go to the priest, he returned to Jesus. He shouted, praise God, thank God. And he prostrated himself before Jesus and said, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me clean. Thank you, Lord, that now I can go to the priest and show myself and then go to my home and see my wife and my family. I can go back to work. I can go to the synagogue. You've given me back my life. Jesus looks at this leper and says, but we're not ten cleansed. But the other nine, where are they? There's more than a hint of sadness in Jesus' voice. We're not ten cleansed. Where are the nine? We can make all kinds of excuses for the nine. We can say they were just overcome with excitement. They were made clean. They wanted to get to the priests as fast as they could and then get home to their families. We could say that they were so thrilled about the gift that they forgot all about the giver of the gift. We could say that some of the nine said, I deserve to be healed. It was my time to be healed. Oh yes, Jesus, Jesus helped me, but, but it was my turn. It was my turn to be healed. Others would say, I don't have to go back and thank Jesus. Jesus knows, he knows that I am thankful. I go to the post office a couple of times every week. And as I approach the door, somebody always uh, walks a little faster than me and gets to the door and opens it. And I say, thank you. And they say, you're welcome, or no problem. My thank you is sincere. And their, you're welcome, is sincere. But the truth is, that is a very quick, easy, and shallow thank you. Hear God's word. All who believe in Jesus and seek to follow Jesus should be giving thanks to Jesus every day. And that thanksgiving should be very deep and very real and very wide. What should we be thanking God for? I think we should thank God for this world in which we live and move and have our being. Now, I'm not talking about the fallen world of man's making. I'm, I'm talking about the natural world of God's making. On the sixth day of creation, God looked at everything that he had created and he said, indeed, it is very, very good. You know, we may someday have a space station on the moon. But if we have a space station on the moon, we're going to have to take an awful lot of, a lot of baggage up there. We're going to have to take a big, uh, what do we call it, balloon, bubble, with air and water and soil to grow some food and all kinds of technology. We've made probes as far as Mars, I think to Venus. But so far, so far all the reports say 
There's nothing like the planet Earth. This planet that God has created and given to us where we can live and move and have our being. We should thank God every day for this natural world that he has given to us. Something else we should thank God for is the gift of life. Our own life, the life of our children and our grandchildren. All life is precious in God's sight. Recently, Jershaham Dilford, who is a granddaughter of Billy Graham, had an interview in which she stressed the fact that Christian people need to enlarge their thinking about pro-life. Christian people need to be concerned about more substance than abortion. She singled out Yemen. Yemen's been in a war zone for years. And children are born and don't make it to their first birthday because there's no food. No food for the mother, no food for the child. Syria has known great turbulence and war. And children ages 6 through 12 who have been orphaned are killed by bombs dropping from the air. All life is precious. The unborn child is precious in the sight of God. But so is the child that is born in Yemen. And the child that grows to six years old in Syria. Ethiopia is also experiencing war and famine and children starving to death. To present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior glory, majesty, dominion and power and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior Salvador. Glory, majesty, dominion, and power.